Good afternoon, uh, viewers and uh, listeners of Concerned uh, Citizens Media. Uh, thank you and uh, nice to have you here. Uh, I just start by to share uh, uh, just two items. Uh, the first one is uh, the breaking news uh, about TDF capturing uh, La Libella and uh, one news about uh, Sudan, uh, uh, you know, attempting to mediate between, uh, between Ethiopia uh, federal government and uh, TPLF. Uh, so thank you. Uh, nice uh, to have you here august 5 2021 here is the breaking news uh tdf captured uh lali bala after uh, defeating heavily armed amara militia and uh, ethiopian defense forces uh Excuse me. Uh, this breaking news is confirmed with multiple media sources, but no statement or briefing from Ethiopian central government on this uh, breaking news. This is another uh, blow to Mr. Abi Ahmed and the Prosperity Party, who are bragging. Uh, to defeat TDF and other forces fighting for free, freedom and a legitimate government in Ethiopia. Dialogue and reconciliation and other arbitration to end the conflict rejected by Abiy Ahmed and the Prosperity Party. Oromo Liberation Front is also uh, uh, gaining major ground on Ethiopia Kenya border uh, border areas and closing in in other uh, prosperity controlled areas so this is a breaking news and uh, uh, TDF entering uh, this uh, Ethiopia Ethiopia's historical, uh, historically well-known uh, tourist attraction city, Lalibala. And the other one uh, is uh, Sudan's uh, attempt, you know, to mediate uh, between Ethiopia's central government and the TDF. Here we go. Uh, this is from Sudan, Sudan Tribune uh, news sources. Sudan's hamdok to mediate Tigray conflict. Sudan is preparing to launch a mediation between the Ethiopian government and the Tigray People Liberation Front, TPLF, with the support of the international community. The Sudan Tribune learned that Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok is in contact with the Ethiopian government and uh, the TPLF leaders to bring the two parties to the negotiating table to discuss a peaceful solution and allow humanitarian aid to civilians. Hamdok also informed of his initiative the heads of the East African bloc, IGAD, Eritrea, and a number of friendly Western countries, including France and the United States of America. Sudan is increasingly, increasingly concerned about the nine months long escalating conflict in Ethiopia as the war zones in the Tigray and Amara region border, the country and refugees continue pouring into Sudan. Officials in Khartoum further says that this conflict might ignite other hot spots in the mul multiple ethnic country pointing to the western Benishangul Gumuz region, which is also bordering Sudan 
as was the case in December 2020. U.S. aid head Samantha Power on Tuesday said they support the Sudanese initiative to resolve the Tigray conflict. We want to support Sudan's transformation from a source of instability to a partner in resolving the challenging of a validate region, most urgently by working together to address the conflict in Ethiopia, to which there is no military solution, uh, Samantha Power said in a lecture at the University of Khartoum. On 31st July, French President Emmanuel Macron spoke with Hamdok and Ethiopia Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, where he expressed his concern about the continued fighting in the country and the call to allow unfettered humanitarian assistance to the needy. The president also stressed that the development of the situation required the negotiation of a break in hostilities and the opening of political dialogue between the belligerent with respect for the integrity and the unity of Ethiopia, reads a statement released by the French president. For his part, U.S. Secretary of uh, State Antony Blinken discussed Wednesday with Hamdok the expansion of fighting in the Amara and Afar regions of Ethiopia and the need for negotiated solution. Secretary Blinken and the Prime Minister Hamdok agreed to encourage all parties to enter negotiation toward a ceasefire to engage in an, in an inclusive political dialogue to preserve the unity and the integrity of the Ethiopian state and to allow full humanitarian access to those in need, said the statement. So this is uh, so the Sudan uh, fear of escalation, the war in border area and uh, trying to resolve uh, the conflict, uh, you know, with the help of international community. But the Ethiopian government uh, denied, denied about this Sudanese uh, arbitration, uh, you know, uh, or contacting the government and the TPLF to bring them to the table. So Ethiopia denied. Uh, we know that Ethiopia has no credibility. Ethiopian officials, Dina Mufti, Ambassador Dina Mufti, and, uh, you know, all prosperity party officials, including the prime minister, there is no credibility. They lie too much. They misinformation, they misinform Ethiopians and the global community. So, but according to the Sudan Tribune, uh, the Sudanese government is contacted Ethiopian officials and the TDF to bring them to the table. But why they deny I know they just bragging about uh, ending this conflict with uh, military force by using all available uh, resources, uh, you know, uh, forcing Ethiopians to contribute uh, financially, to bring materials, to bring their animals, including uh, sheep, goats, uh, uh, chicken, everything, the resources. Ethiopians are already struggling uh, through, uh, uh, you know, so many life expense. Goods are very expensive and uh, uh, monetary value is very down. Ethiopian bird is like a leaf now, useless. So Abiy Ahmed and the Prosperity Party uh, and forcing Ethiopians again, uh, uh, in addition to all these uh, challenges. So that is the news. That is the breaking news. TDF is in La Libella, is confirmed with multiple uh, news resources, and the Sudan is attempting to mediate uh, between TDF and the uh, Ethiopian central government. I have a video to share with you, then I will conclude today's presentation. Okay, here we go. Okay.
get to Iran in just a second. First, some breaking news. Tigrayan rebels have taken control of a place called Lalibela in northern Ethiopia. The UNESCO World Heritage Site in Ampara is holy for Christians. Fighting in Tigray has spilled over into neighboring regions in recent weeks. Thousands of people have been forced to leave and to flee the violence. Malcolm Webb is following that development for us out of Nairobi. Malcolm, uh, what's going on there as far as we can tell? Well, residents and others have told us that fighters from the Tigray region have entered that historic town, Lalibela. Uh, there were rumours that they were close among local residents over the last week. Some of the residents said they've heard gunfire at night, but they say it's normal to, to hear some gunfire at night there. But then uh, just in the last few hours, residents said they could see the Tigrayan uh, People's Liberation Front fighters uh, getting close. Uh, and then just a short while ago, they've taken control uh, of the town. It's a town with a population of 20 or so thousand people, but it couldn't be of greater religious and cultural and historical uh, significance. It's 800 years old, full of uh, ancient churches, uh, and it's a, a, a holy site for Ethiopia's uh, millions of Orthodox Christians. Uh, but this is also uh, a, 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 well, appears to be a significant incursion on the part of the Tigrayan uh, People's Liberation Front from the north coming into the territory of, the, of their enemy. They've been fighting with uh, Amara militia to the south, and now it seems they've taken control of this town that's well inside uh, their enemy's territory. But it's careful to remember that in this conflict there aren't contingent front lines to speak of. Uh, people control a town here, and other, others control a town there. So we can't, uh, we can't guess at, uh, at how much territory is taken, but certainly this is as far as we've known they've taken. Uh, taken a town into their enemy's uh, territory so far. That conflict, of course, has been spreading into the Amara and Afar regions in the last few weeks. Is this region or is this town, Malcolm, strategically important or is it the fact that they've taken it, the signalling of the fact that they've taken it, the important thing here? Well, in terms of strategic importance, it's hard to say if, uh, you know, what presence they actually have in the surrounding area, if they've got supply lines, if they've taken broader territory. Uh, so, I mean, it, taking uh, just one town, we, you know, we don't know uh, much more about it, but the significance of it couldn't be uh, greater. It's considered one of the, the sort of founding sites of Ethiopia. Uh, visiting, successive visiting heads of state have been brought uh, here to, you know, to show them his, well, one of Ethiopia's greatest historic sites, and it's of particular uh, importance to the Amhara people. Uh, themselves, so certainly uh, a, 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 a great knock to, uh, to 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 their to their to that side in the conflict. The fact that their enemy has come in and uh, taken uh, one of their most holy uh, and historic sites right inside uh, their territory. Okay, Malcolm. Many thanks, Malcolm Webb, there in Nairobi. Okay, that is. Uh... Ryan rebels have taken control. So that is the breaking news uh, shared on uh, social media. Uh, TDF forces uh, defeating uh, Amara special forces uh, and other forces uh, fighting along with the Ethiopian defense forces. So now according to different Reuters and different media sources, Ethiopia lost control, Amara lost the control of Lalibela. So I want to add one more. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, I want to share this a little bit uh, of the Oromo soccer tournament and remembering Johar Muhammad. Johnny uh, Gusama of OMN. Oh, I'm not going 
Okay, that is uh, so. That is uh, you know the test of uh, Osfana Oromo uh, Soccer Federation of North America uh, ending activity. Although the Oromos uh, gather, uh, you know, uh, to watch soccer and uh, to engage in different uh, activities still remember uh, uh, still they are calling for uh, justice for Achalu Hundesa and uh, for the freedom of Bakala Garba, freedom of Hamza Borana and the freedom of Johar Muhammad uh, and uh, they are calling for the freedom of all other Oromos uh, who have been illegally arrested by Abi Ahmed and uh, his uh, uh, prosperity party. So uh, that is uh, the always, always, uh, you know, uh, uh, you have to remember your freedom fighters. Even though you are enjoying soccer or whatever activity, you have to remember who are in jail or, you know, for your freedom. So that is uh, 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 what the video is telling us uh, to continue the movement until that country is free from tyranny and uh, atrocities and uh, you know abuses, killings, tortures, mass arrest, uh, you know lack of respect for the court system. Uh, lack of justice, uh, lack of respect for elders, uh, other human rights violations. So the fight will continue. Uh, it's already on the way in the north, in the south, and different parts of the country. That's why the country is in, in turmoil. Ethiopia is in turmoil. Very, very turmoil. Very, you know, uh, there is no place that has peace, relatively, only, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Addis Ababa, relatively. But other areas, people are worried. Internal displacement is uh, huge. 
just from the La Libela area, from today's news, about 80% of the population run away from that city. Between the Afar and uh, uh, Somalia and uh, that area conflict, 250 people displaced. So I don't know what kind of guy this guy is, you know, sitting in the uh, Arad Kilo, Ethiopian palace and uh, just planting trees and uh, doing regular activities. Uh, I don't make it, it doesn't make sense for, uh, you know, normal per person when the country is collapsing around himself and sitting like normal. And, uh, you know, is not opening up for peace, dialogue, reconciliation, is not opening up for others to take part. Try, open up. Give the power for others if you think about the country. But he is not thinking about it. He is thinking about his power. So that is a, the situation. I just start by to share this. And uh, thank you again. I will be back uh, possibly with uh, other breaking news or other news and the comments from Concerned Citizens Media. Thank you for you being part of this uh, program. So long and uh, be safe.